Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> if I, uh, bro, if I got you, please click off the video. This isn't going to be for you. Let me take off OBS. Hello, everyone, bro. It's your boy. The man. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, who? Wait, who, who's that man? The myth. Wait a minute. The myth of the doctor. What comes after the myth? It's the legend, right? A legend. A legend, right? The legend of Dr. E. It's Dr. E, fool. How you beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and gals. Let me do that slap again. Bah. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for that. But sheesh. <laughs> By the way, fluff my neighbors. Hate them all. And, and then I got people sleeping. But bruh. <sighs> beautiful people, bruh. The Scarlet Squad, Scarlet, Scarlet Squad will be up. And the men and the women on a mission. Today, I'm on a mission. We got three true gaming horror stories with Rain Sounds. And I got my main man, the homie, the big homie, Nighttime Spooks. This was April 18th, 2021. Uh, I like Nighttime Spooks, but I'm pretty sure, for some reason, I don't think I've reacted to this. And also, I'm going to do this one later, but that's a, that's another one. But I, right, right, guys, we'll see how this goes. You know the drill. I have this spooky little, little flashlight looking thing. I react. I react a lot. I usually analyze. I mean, analyze. Apologies. <laughs> Apologize. <laughs> Every single little detail. You know what I mean? And you know me. I'm a gamer. So let's see how the, let me Let me put my chair up. And I'm a gamer. Unfortunately, my, I wish I had a gaming chair like this. My chair is so buns, bro. That's why it's ruining my posture. But yeah, let me make sure OBS is recording. If it wasn't recording, that would have been tough. I en en enough enough of me just stalling and just talking and talking. Let's get on with and also I read the comments after. Let's get on with the videos. Video video. Scroll the squad. Again, shout out to the the big homie, Nighttime Spooks. Love you, buddy. Not not no no sus way. Just just as brethren, you know. Bro, these, this the like story happened to me back when I was 15 years. Sound effects are actually creepy, holy. So, and a sophomore in high school. Hey. At the time, my. Oh, the L station. Nah, bro. We we. Where my controller at? Nah, bro. We Xbox gang up in this bit. Parents were out shopping, and I was home alone in my room. Wait, were you a freshman? At the time, my parents were out shopping, and a sophomore in high school. Dang, you left for 15 or 16. Eh. Ah, that's tough. Mmm, that's tough. Mmm, that's interesting. I probably wouldn't, but... Mmm. At the time, my parents were out shopping, and I was home alone in my room. Wait, are these Xbox controllers? Yeah, what the fluff? Xbox, PlayStation, Xbox, PlayStation, Xbox. Huh, interesting. Oh, yeah, they got PlayStation and Xbox. Holy... Bro, this setup is kind of fire. What the fluff? Sheesh. I, I ain't gonna lie. Now I have an idea of what I'm a cop. I did what I would do on most days at the time, which was play video games in my room. Wait. I remember that. I'm That's on God, bro. You ain't simping. You ain't you ain't out here wasting your money on on you know what I mean on parasocial relationships. You out here gaming, bro. Respect to you, bro. Bro, you know, bro, respect, bro. On that day, I was playing Madden. You had my respect till you said Madden, bro. I right, Madden's okay, but bro, bro, bro. Fluff Madden and Fluff 2K. I will never pay fully for those two fluffing scamming games. Madden, bro, is literally just my Fluff Madden, bro. W Gaming, but L Madden. What the fluff? It was about an hour after my parents left, and I was in the middle of a game when. W this guy, bro. He could have been watching Netflix, watching The Hub, you know what I mean? Simping, but he chose the game. Unfortunately, it's Madden. It was Minecraft, Call of Duty, even GTA. I hate GTA, but even GTA. He chose Madden.
Suddenly, the power in my room went out. Huh? Okay. Since this is a, a horror story, I have I'm a little nervous about where this is going. Ain't no way some some crazy mother fluffer turned it off, right? No, right? That would be literal CSGO things or Rainbow Seas things. I was pretty surprised when it happened, and I went to look out my window to see if it was storming or something. What's up with this screen? It was nighttime, but it had been a sunny day earlier, so I didn't expect a storm. I see you nighttime. And I looked out. I ain't gonna lie, I was freaked out a little bit. Sheesh. My window, it wasn't even raining. Just huh? then, after only being out for about a minute, the power came back on and my PlayStation started back mm. up. Someone might be playing with that fuse box. That's tough. Because you're saying it's not raining, so no thunder, right? Or th lightning. Ooh, that's interesting. That's interesting. And, and like, sometimes, you know, there might be some faulty tech, but. This, he, he, the way you make the sound is like, this ain't normal. Someone might be playing with that fuse box, bro. Sheesh. You might want to call the parents, call the police. Might want to skedaddle. I played it off as a random blackout or something. Here's the thing. If it's common and like you say, let's say you've experienced it, maybe. But bro, at least call your parents, bro. At least, if you're not gonna call the police, at least call your parents or call your company or whoever you know what I mean. But <sighs> this jit thing related to the power company, and I went back to playing Madden. <laughs> I got about you willing to just die for Madden, bro? I guess I, I guess I respect it, but bruh, fluff Madden. That's what I take from a story. Fluff Madden into another game when the power in my room went out once. What again. other game? This was frustrating to me at this point. And I grabbed my phone and texted my parents. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This black screen is kind of freaking me out, bro. To know what was going on. Who, wait, who'd you call? I, and I grabbed my phone and texted my parents to let them know what was going on. About time. You should have done it the first I time. I opened my door and walked out of my room. But when I did... I don't know if I agree with that, but uh, I, don't, I don't know if I agree with that. Uh, I don't know. That's tough. I noticed that the lights in the rest of the house were on, and it seemed that the power was only out in my room. I was. That's sus as fluff. I fluff and knew someone was messing with that fuse box. Bro? I mean, either you call the popo, -po, chill in your room, or chill in another room, you skedaddle, get the fluff out of there. Or, let's just say you have a little bit of equipment, you know, so you, you got some hardware, you know what I mean? I'm just saying. I was confused why this was happening, until the thought came to me that maybe the circuit in my room was overloaded or something like that. I remember whoa, whoa, the fuse boxes we had in our basement, and my dad would have... What? What? Bro, my fucking bro, my I curse my fluffing brother freaked me out, bro. Oh my god, bro. I don't know why I do this to myself. Ah, Jesus. All right, guys. <laughs> That's so bad. All right, let's continue on with the story, bro. What the heck? Wait, what? Why can't I hear nothing? My dad would occasionally have to reset. I remember the fuse boxes we had in our basement, and my okay. dad would occasionally have to reset them from. Wait, wait, let me go back a little bit. Came to me that maybe the circuit in my room was overloaded or something like that. But bro, like what? I remember the fuse boxes we had in our basement, and my dad would occasionally have to reset them from time to time. I don't think that makes sense though. If if the fuse box was overloaded, wouldn't the whole house be affected? Why would it just be your room, right? Ain't that kind of weird? Maybe that's just me. So I decided to go down and have a look for myself. I walked down to the basement and towards the laundry. Wait, you went to... Oh, no, 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 no. You went to go check? Mm, you said you're a sophomore? Are you built? Or you got any fighting experience? You got any hardware on you? Ooh, that's tough. 
But let me know, like, is the is the overloading thing, is that valid? I don't think that's valid. Me personally. Which is where the fuses were located. But when I turned the corner to the hallway that the laundry room was in, I thought I saw the door to it move slightly on its oh, own. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, you didn't, you didn't probably, you did see it. Your mind is just trying to tell you, you know what I mean? You, you just want the best case scenario. Bro. Get the fluff out of there. Immediately, I got a shiver down my spine. The door had been open. I got a shiver right now just thinking about that. That's tough. And very slightly, and it appeared to close just a little bit. I tried to avoid freaking so out. So you know 100%. I ain't gonna lie. He, the way you play it is pretend you didn't see it. But yeah, that's the way you play it. And calmly turned around and walked back upstairs. Okay. Good, good. It was dumb to go down there, but giga brain play, giga brain. I'm not gonna lie. I sprinted the final ten feet or so up the stairs, and then I don't blame you, but I wouldn't have. But I do not blame you. Fluff that. Back into my bedroom. Wait, the what? Lights were still off. Wait, what? Wait, you went back into your bedroom? Isn't there no power? At why didn't you leave the house? What the fluff? In my bedroom, though. So I walked across the hall to my parents' bedroom. Not bad, but... Bro, you're still in danger, bro. Oof. Ah, man. Mm. Do you have a close relationship with your neighbors? I, that's probably the route you probably should have went, but... Hey, man. Who knows? Let's see what happens, but mm, I don't know. I don't I don't know if I like that and shut the door and locked it Then I texted my parents to please come home Call the police call the fluffin police bruh Bruh you have someone in your basement who's messing with the fuse box box to your exact room Like Bruh, like, <laughs> what else do you need? Do you need this guy to start banging on the door? Like, call the police, bro. At this point, I was trying to tell I mean, he is a sophomore, so I guess he is dumb, but... That's a bit, really, that's kind of too dumb. Thought ...that the door hadn't closed on its own, and I was just seeing things. Even idiot, idiot, idiot. And then again, I know, I know the brain wants to rationalize, make it not as bad. Bro, bro, bro. Someone was there. Someone was there, just... I don't get why you didn't call the police, though. Like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, even even if your parents show up early, you're going to have to deal with that confrontation. I don't know. I think you should have called the police. Even though I'd know what I had seen, my parents texted me back shortly after, saying they were already on their way home. I felt relieved to know that. Then, okay. shortly after that... Wait, how long are they away? I felt relieved to know that saying they were already on their way home I felt when parents say oh I'm, I'm on my way they ain't on their way bruh they're like about 20 minutes away like <laughs> when they say they're on their way like bruh they're either like almost done or they're like they're at the car about to drive home on their way my pff, hell heck no I'm relieved to know that then shortly after that all the lights in my parents room suddenly went out this dude is a demon the, 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 this fluffing guy in the basement he's actually a demon he's actually busted how does he know and again i guess bruh the dude is actually a goon bruh holy my heart sank yeah i didn't know what to do and I thought about leaving the room to another one until I heard footsteps coming up the stairs. I, I don't like this dark screen. They were moving slowly, and I knew it wasn't my parents because I didn't hear the doors open. I sat there on my parents' bed, frozen in fear. That situation is tough, man, because you got the person at the stairs. I, I guarantee you don't have any hardware on you. You're probably not the biggest dude, and you're young. That's tough. Worst case scenario, you might want to jump out the window. Is all I'm saying. The footsteps made it slowly up the stairs. Dude, this dude's actually demonic. 
You're just torturing this kid, bro. Like, you keep turning off the lights on the fuse box, and you're slowly going up the stairs, you actual rat. That's actually fluffed up. ...way that I was in. Finally, I made my way quietly under my parents' bed and covered myself with a blanket. Come on, bruh. Under the bed? That's gotta be... That's such a stupid movie cliche, bro. Never, ever do that. Never, ever be in a situation where if you get caught, or like, let's say someone finds you, you're, you're done for. Never, ever, ever, ever be in that situation. Never. I then heard the doorknob to my parents' room start to turn until it stopped from the door being locked. Then I heard the footsteps slowly walk down the hall towards my room. This dude's demonic. The, 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 uh, go oh, but when they got to around my doorway, I heard them turn around and walk faster back downstairs. I was really happy to hear this, and I got out from underneath my parents' bed. I then heard the front door opening. Oh, I'll about to say, if he was just playing mind games, this dude might have been Satan himself. But bruh, he j uh, like, he did, did the that the guy think that the door w a lot would be unlocked? Did you one? He probably I ain't gonna lie, the sophomore kid was pretty dumb. But I don't think he was dumb enough to uh you know to just leave the door unlocked. That's that's ex that's really really dumb but he just what what he, he what he he might have been watching too much content the adult kind thinking maybe the, the dude would just leave i don't know what, what was he thinking like it, maybe he's like a fan fiction writer or something i don't know bro real life and fiction are different the sounds of my parents' voices talking. I opened up the door. Did you? Didn't you tell your parents about a guy being there? They're just talking. The fluff. And sprinted out of their bedroom towards them and told them someone was in the house. We oh, you never told them? Actual dummy. Police, and they arrived within minutes. After searching the house. Bro, the police arrived within minutes, so you could have got this guy caught, yet your literal smooth brain, dumb self. Fluffing idiot, bro. They found the window in the laundry room in the basement to be wide open, but nobody was in the house. They said they would patrol the area heavily over the next few weeks. Bro, someone like this guy? You ain't catching him, like. Uh, or at least he was kind of i don't i don't know he, he i know this is kind of creepy though because this dude was playing mind games like he i guess he got the thrill off of just messing with this kid you know what i mean oh my god that's so creepy bro it's like because i feel like there were so many opportunities where this like with a the intruder could have got the kid and stuff you know what i mean because the kid did a lot of mistakes you know what i mean but bruh i feel oh, that's that's actually so creepy bro but I don't know that whoever was in our house was ever found. I doubt it. It scares me to think that whoever was inside most likely knew which room I was in yep. and was purposely turning off the power. Yup. Sometimes I think they were possibly trying to lure me into the laundry room where they were. Dude, that might have been something. Or I, this just might have been a, just a sick, demented person who just enjoy like, messing with you. Like, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it, like... The psychology and the psychosis of this person? Holy. It's been five years since, and I still get scared thinking about it. You're probably going to be scared for a lifetime. Alright, story two. After, after I react to this, we're, that'll be the end of the video, but... Whew, that first story was definitely a banger. Had me freaked out. I blame Madden. EA, I ain't gonna lie, I blame EA for that. This story I'm about to tell you is to this day one of the most. The fluff type of house is this. The fluff. 
bizarre things to ever happen to me. Bizarre? It was a Thursday night about a year ago. So this is probably very unsettling because he said bizarre. Interesting. And I was in my house playing Call of Duty. Hey. It was pretty much an We got the COD gang. Gang gang. I feel you, bruh. I'm a warlord in COD, so respect to you. Or content chief. Play. Content chief. Look at this net. Bro, Arizona. I don't know what that is. What are these? Are these? I don't know what that is. Gatorade, Coca-Cola, unhealthy degenerates, bruh. Actually disgusting. I had my headset in and was playing some pretty good games. I thought you were playing COD. Bro, look at this. Bro, got a fan. Holy. Bro, this is a fluffing struggle setup for real, for real. I played with my friends until they got off, and then I kept playing. <laughs> Respect. It was probably around 11 o'clock at night when I heard a familiar voice in my headset. In a okay. different. Rick and Morty's a W. I'm pretty sure that's the Yankees. I'm, that's kind of an L. I don't know what this is. Hey, don't flick me off, Jit. I'll smack the. I'll smack the like last remaining hair you have. And Space Jam, the original, was fire. Tone and volume than it had been before. So this is probably like a lower middle class, like suburban kid, probably for like first time living on his own. The voice said, "I can see you." What? Then I heard some. The voice said, "In a different." Bro, I, I was so focused on this 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 guy's room. I like, wait, what? What? Did I hear that right? Did. did So I had to make sure if I, I had to make sure that if there was something in my headset. Let me let me go back. At Eleven o'clock at night, when I heard an. Okay, I remember this part. Unfamiliar voice in my headset, in a different tone and volume than it had been before. The voice said, "I can see you." I swear I will go back. You ain't seeing nothing, bruh. Man, I will be. I'm just saying. And shout out to Xbox gang. Then I heard some. I wonder nighttime. You you, you play on Xbox, PlayStation or PC? I, I I don't know. I feel like I feel like nighttime plays on PC. I don't know. I don't know. Static in the headset and a weird yeah, beeping that. noise. Well, I don't know, cause he is showing Xboxes and Playstations. He could have. Ah, I don't know. That's interesting. That mic. I got one of these. I don't know. It could be a hacker, but the person says he could see him. So, if he could see him, how come he didn't hear him? I don't know. That's interesting. That would be very creepy, though. I took off my headset for a second, and then put it back on. Do you hear anything? The voice once again said that they could see me, and then they said my first name. It really. Wait, wait, is he, is he playing on console or PC? Because if it's PC, they can see through the webcam? Is, is that what he's talking about? Creeped me out when I heard it. Then my game suddenly froze up, and there was no more sound in my headset. I didn't know oh, how dang. to explain what had just happened, so I just got up and restarted my Xbox. That's fluffy creepy. Is that what he meant by bizarre? Ooh, that... It would be so fluffing weird. Wait, how is the Xbox just... Is it floating? This is probably the weirdest part of the video, but... That would be really so... That would be so fluffing weird if that's it. Like, so anticlimactic. I, you just... I can see you and that's it. No way, That that's what happens, right? And then started up Call of Duty again. <laughs> Bro, you potentially have a serial killer in your house. And the person can see you. He's talking through your headset, and you're like, man, let me play more Call of Duty. Respect. I decided to take a little break before starting another game, though. And I mm. got up to get something to drink. <laughs> you took a break, and now he's going to play more COD? Holy. Respect to you, man. When I came back to my room, I looked out my window to look around. No way. No fluffing way. When I did, I noticed parked in front of my yard was one of those white work trucks. Now, I 
I I had to, I had to look around and make sure. That's tough. That's actually tough. I lived in the city, so there was a lot of houses near each other, and it wasn't all that uncommon. To Bro, I don't give a fluff where you live and how many people live near you and how common it is. Not fluff that BS, bruh. What's your gut feeling telling you, buddy? Someone tell you he can see you. He can see these nuts on his forehead, bruh. Like, bruh. Come on, buddy. To see work trucks, but with it being 11:30 at night now. And the truck yeah yeah okay you're, you're finally thinking you're finally thinking in front of my house it uh -huh. was strange yeah yeah very strange very strange i looked and i couldn't see anybody in the drivers because 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 connected dots someone said they could see you through your headset right and you see a car outside your house what does that mean and you said there's a window what does that mean I decided to close my blinds and then went back to playing Call of Duty. <laughs> I respect his grind set. He, he really trying to play COD. I, I respect you, buddy. I wish I could have you in my Warzone squad, man. You sound you sound dedicated, but bruh. Like, you're not connecting the dots? People, can y'all understand? The dude saw him through the window. <sighs> holy, just, just jigga brain, like holy. I didn't have any more problems or any more weird things happen with the game or my headset. So I was feeling a little Bro, all better this dude and I started trying to forget fluffing about what game? happened. But then, out of nowhere, I thought I heard a knock coming from my bedroom window. I had Bro, my fluffing baby brother keeps like talking in his sleep and fluffing freaks me the fluff out, bruh. What the fluff? It's fluffing. What time is it? It's fluffing 3.30, bro. It's 3 a.m., bro. Oh, fluff. Why do I do this to myself? I had my headset in and was listening to the game, so I couldn't <laughs> really hear very well. But I took uh, off my headset just in time to hear the final knock on my window. What did I say? What did I fluffing say? My boy Corey said it. Natural selection. It scared me a lot, and I froze there for a second, not knowing what to do. Knowing you, you're probably going to look look back, see a dude with a gun pointing at you. You're going to acknowledge it for like 2.5 seconds and then go back to playing Call of Duty. That's probably what's going to happen. I started deciding whether I should call the police or look out the window. Or play Call of Duty. Or just run away. Or play Call of Duty. Then I heard the noise of an engine starting. <laughs> slowly and carefully lifted the blinds of my window to peek outside and i saw the truck that had been parked in front of my house driving away i mean like after that it's not rocket science i mean you play cod do you have i mean which i wonder what you play you're probably one of those camping nerds or the little metagaming andies you can't decide for yourself you do no problem solving you know what i mean like or you just have people lead you or you know or you play like a bot but if you actually do some of the strategy things you know strategy based things it's not that hard to figure out what happened. Only thing I don't understand, though, is how did they, they talk through your mic. That's the one thing I understand. I turned my TV back to normal TV and turned off my Xbox. Nothing else happened that night. I swear to God, I thought he was going to say he, was, he played Call of Duty. And I'm convinced that somebody in that truck was trying to mess with me for some reason that night. Bruh. I mean, he probably, honestly, I think, I, you know what, I, I have a hot take. Let, let me finish the story. I just don't know why. I know why. Nope. I, I, Nighttime Spooks. Nighttime Spooks, he seen, Nighttime Spooks seems like a very highly IQ'd individual. Shout out to Nighttime Spooks. He might have picked up on this, but let me, let me, let, let me let y'all know this. This is my, like, giga, giga brain theory. My fluffing brother, bro. Fluff, man. Fluff, fluff, fluff. But, but listen, listen to this. He was probably maybe an uncle, a cousin, a family friend. And he noticed, he noticed, he saw like a, a young man addicted to Call of Duty, obsessed with Call of Duty. All he does is play Call of Duty. And he said, you know what? I'm going to take it with, within myself to help him. Um, yes, I'm going to scare him. 
I'm going to hack into his mic and say, I see you, freak him out so he can stop playing Call of Duty. But what he realized was, no matter what he did, he always played Call of Duty. He could be in the dangers of death, yet he'll still play Call of Duty. I think, honestly, the dude in, 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 in the white truck or white van, he was a hero. He wanted to save a man from his Call of Duty addiction. But, as we all realize, COD is just super addicting. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm stupid, bro. I'm stupid. <laughs> but, uh, I wonder what that, like, potential murderer or kidnapper was thinking, like, like, he, he's like, bro, like, I'm, I'm trying to kill this dude, like, kidnap him. And he's still playing Call. like, imagine, like, this dude playing Call of Duty saved his life. Like, imagine the killer was like, bro, like, it's like even if I smoke him. Like, when am I gonna, like, you know what I mean? Like, like, he's probably gonna go to the afterlife and play Call of Duty. That's tough. Sheesh. Alright, let's, let's, let's read these comments. We're ended. Props to Rain. Sounds always make an appearance. What? My gaming horror story is when I purchased all four of the car games for the 360 and the one in hopes that maybe one day they'll be back on Microsoft Store along with the downloadable contents. I'm still waiting, knowing that I might never get DLC for most of the Forza Motorsport and Forza Horizon games. It's even scarier. Facts. Even though I'm pretty sure, I'm wondering, because Microsoft is usually typically um, the better company when it comes to backgrounds compatibility and like just DLC stuff. Interesting. Sony usually do some BS, but hey man, learn something new every day. Um, a legend, Mike. If you ever think someone's in your house, call the police, not your parents. A thousand percent, bro. You got a cracked hairline like me? Makes sense. Uh, a Lardinals fan. Sheesh. And his name is Madden. Nighttown Spooksters. <laughs> another gaming video. He's probably the dude who's playing Madden. The first one was truly scary because nothing really happened, but there were many possibilities of how it could have turned out. True. Very, very true. That I think the first one was a, it was just a really psychotic person. This, I ain't gonna lie, both stories are really weird and creepy, to be honest with you. I love the voice. Yeah, not that supposed to go to. Love the stories. I bet his voice is, is a hit with the ladies. Alright, 10 out of 10. Yup. I literally fell asleep for 25 minutes and my phone was on playing. <laughs> Scary. Three. <laughs> That's tough. Excited. Yup. Hey, bro, I've been loving these. Upload. Oh, look at his weeaboo. Clicked on this video. Uh, center on Call of Duty and Madden. Was not disappointed. Anyone else knows other videos? Mention COD. Because COD, COD is and Madden are, are really impo are really popular. Madden sucks. COD has some redeemable stuff. Love your channel. Sorry, but at this point, he's going to hit 1 million within a week. Love the uploads. Hey, man. One day, man. I love spooky shiz. Yeah, he go. This just shows how gamers are truly the most oppressed race. Facts. Based. Man, shout out to the big homie, bruh. We we all love nighttime spooks, bruh. Man, hey man, you never know, man. Ho hopefully he does reach those, you know, reach those numbers. He he, he, he a genuine dude. But alright, everyone, this is definitely a fun video. Very creepy and bizarre. I got jump scared because my dang brother knocked on my door, and then my other brother, the one sleeping on my bed currently, keeps talking and moving in his sleep, freaking me out. <sighs> it is what it is. But hey, y'all. I love you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. I am a, I'm a gamer, so like this was I guess hit, hit home with me. Plus I've played both Madden and COD, and it was just interesting to see how these turned out and what I would have done. I hope you guys, you know me, I talk a lot. I'm a rambling Randy. My, my voice cracked, but you know what I mean. I hope you guys enjoyed my commentary. You enjoyed the video all around. Shout out to Nighttime Spooks. Expect more because it is the month. It is. I keep hearing stuff. Fluff me. It is, it is the month of October, so Spooktober, right? Scary games, scary reactions, it is what it is. I love you guys. Love you boys and gals. Scarlet Squad, we up. The men and women on mission. Let's keep going. <sighs> Stay blessed. Let me go ahead and get this up. Stay blessed. And dang, another 35-minute video. Holy. Stay blessed. And... And... Deuces.